Today's video is sponsored by Safety Wing Nomad Insurance. Whoa, look at the size of this. Wow, look at these stairs it has. <laughs> All right, we have just arrived at Van City RV just outside of Kalispell, Montana. And today we are going to see what over $400,000 US gets you for an RV. Let's have a look. stand up in it. Wow, look adjust. at the TV and everything. Yeah, you can just fit, can't you? Oh yeah, there's a TV there. This is beautifully done. This is look. actually pretty roomy. It is. Makes mm. it into a queen size bed. Wow. It just come out to here, does it? All the way to the cabinets, yep. So you gotta scooch off your end to go potty. Oh, it's not like, it's pretty comfy. It's not like leather. Ooh, good. it's soft, yeah. Wow. going to be where the induction cooktop is. So that's the cooktop yeah. there. The bed. bed. This is 218,000, but it's four wheel drive. It's this is one of the last. That's Mercedes your shower. Has changed and went to a four cylinder situation with a two stage turbo, where this is a six cylinder with a single stage turbo. Okay. Okay. This also only has a seven speed transmission. The other one, the new one's going to have a 10 speed transmission. The difference is going to be very minimal in the power. Yeah. I was told if you've got like a big boat that you're pulling behind it or something, passing is not an option. Yeah. But going and doing the hills and stuff and driving it normally like people drive around here, you're not going to have any situation. You're not even going to notice the difference. People drive quick around here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, you have to. It's 50 miles to go anywhere. Yeah. So, and what's in here? a little goodie box. Oh, yeah, all the portable. stuff that they give you. Okay. And then that shower basin underneath of that is exactly that yeah so you stand shower, here and yep and that pulls out oh it's a curtain and everything yeah and the shower drop or the bottom shelf drops down and you shower in that little curtain area i think this one's cool for like weekends and adventuring but i don't know it seems a bit cramped to live in yeah. for me anyway jumping into a motorhome and just buying a motorhome is going to be a situation where you're going to end up having three or four different motorhomes before you find the one that you fall in love with. Yeah. And it's true. about $10,000, $15,000 a try. The good thing about the van market is it's still strong. The big stuff, obviously with gas prices and the economy and everything is still kind of tanking. We've got the baby boomers that are out there finishing up retiring. That's the wealth of this. Since 2019 or 2020 has been the whole genre change of people. Yeah. Because nobody got like told what to do. So they bought a van or they bought a motorhome and it was out out on the road, living their life, not being you know tethered to a state where you couldn't get out of your house. So that Definitely. was kind of a big deal. And around here in Montana, as you guys are experiencing, we love guns, we love, you know, yeah. Yeah, it's the whole thing. It is kind of the last, we like to think of it as the last best place where you can still come and have some fun and not have a bunch of laws and uh, still have some openness. There's so much space. <laughs> this is like an apartment. Yeah. A little apartment. Wow. I guess you can only watch TV from here or does it spin around? Yeah, you can mount it to that wall. So it's a bit cheaper than the adventure ones we're looking at. Mm. Mm -hmm. yeah. Lots of space in here too and it's beautiful. It's, it's two wheel drive. Yeah. Really, this, this can even, go anywhere the even sprinter. Even in the winter. The only thing that you really gain over that is about two inches of ground clearance. Yeah. Is it front wheel drive? 
rear wheel. Okay. And it's on the European chassis, so that it's on the European footprint, which means the tracking tires are different. It means they're narrower. So you've got a narrower stance. Chances of you slipping are going to be less. Yeah. Um, you can flip this around in a four-point intersection without having to make that four-point turn. I'm it's, sold. <laughs> it's awesome. It is this good. Does have the leveling jacks on them as well. Uh, okay. So you can automate hit one button, it automatically levels for you. Put your slide out after you level it. You set up for as long as you need. Hit a button. I mean, seriously, they've made it so easy that you can tear them down and be out of camp within five minutes. No fuss, no muss. Very simple. It's oh, not it's too big that you can still park it. It fits on the yellow lines at Walmart. Yeah, it's the same as that. Yeah. But look how big and beautiful these windows are. Like, so much. It's right. such a nice view. Are we buying it? <laughs> tough sleeping in hours. <laughs> yeah, I know. 150,000 bucks is a big number. Well, let's break it down and make it realistic for you. So it takes 15, it takes 10% to get you in. Yeah. We'll spread it over 20 years for 15 grand. Stretch it on the finger, about 800 bucks a month. Okay. And rent is 1,000 bucks for the room. It's cheaper right than rent. I didn't realize there was 20 year loan options. I thought it was like a five, seven year, like a car or something. Anything with a party in it, it's is deemed a, a mortgage loan. Wow. wow, I didn't know that. Did you know that? No, I did not mm -hmm. know that. All right, we just need to say a quick thank you to Safety Wing for sponsoring today's video and making this free content possible. Since we left Australia back in 2021 to travel full time, we've had peace of mind knowing that we're covered in case anything goes wrong while we're overseas. And that's because we've been using Safety Wing since day one. And thankfully we did because on the one occasion we did have to use the assistance of Safety Wing, they got us through a pretty sticky situation. In fact, at one point I was so sick in Mexico, Lloyd had to call Safety Wing because he thought he was gonna have to take me to the emergency room. And when we rang Safety Wing, they were super helpful and let us know all the hospitals that we could go to that we'd be able to claim our money back. And they also told us what hospitals to avoid because sometimes they'll charge you way more than what they're supposed to. We also got extremely sick at the start of our trip in Bali and had a nurse come to our room for seven days straight, which wasn't exactly cheap. But luckily our Nomad Insurance completely covered us and we were reimbursed within 30 days of making our claim. Just knowing that we're covered in case of an emergency health scare like that has given us the confidence and freedom to keep traveling without worrying about racking up huge debts from hospital bills. And not only do they cover us for medical bills, including COVID-19, we're also covered for any loss of luggage or personal items, airline delays, and even things like natural disasters and personal liability. With coverage starting at as little as $45 a month, it's kind of a no-brainer. And with no locking contracts, you can cancel at any time. We'll leave the link in the description to Safety Wing if you're interested in joining. We highly recommend it. All right, now back to the video. Whoa, look at the size of this. Wow, look how many stairs it has. <laughs> Goodness, this is so half. pretty. It's like double fridge, <laughs> residential refrigerator. <laughs> Ice maker. And a fireplace, wow. Ice maker, big freezer. Ice oh. maker. Tons of stuff. Tons of stuff. And then that is the half bath. There's two bathrooms. <laughs> wow. Well, because oh my you don't goodness. want everybody to go through your personal stuff. Right. So so you get two bathrooms. Oh, wow. So you fit Yeah, that screen fell out. Washer and dryer. On end Cummins generator in the back. That will facilitate all the power for this. Okay. And it's got an automatic brain here that when your batteries drop to, say, 11.5, it'll automatically start that generator to keep your fridge and everything going and make sure that everything keeps maintained. So how long could you camp without plugging in here, do you think? I would go, if my tanks were full, week. That's amazing. Okay, this is our new goal. 
And then for insurance, you're looking at about probably a thousand bucks every six months. Your what costs is tires and because uh, you got five hundred dollars a tire. Wow, this is amazing. And then yeah, you got all of this fun stuff in here, which is cool. Same, same, same. Yeah. All right, goodbye to my future home. <laughs> Wow, look how much storage it has. Just look at the size of this thing. Uh, here's the show power, your inverters, everything's in this back, this back bay here. Your generator is your power plant. That's the, gonna be the biggest source of power for you. Yeah. Oh, here's the awning. And look, it's yeah. got LED lighting on it. Yep, and that's wow. an outside entertainment system. So yeah. you can have a drop and roll show going on with your awning house, your fire going, your picnic table, all your good stuff going on. So what on. is that? Is it TV or? It's four TVs in this <laughs> Oh, wow. And a sound bar. Yeah, you had a little sound bar in there. Everybody goes, oh, I'm never going to use that. I go, because we put you up for two nights in an RV park. I drive by and kind of check them out. They're the using it, thing, yeah. They got it out, they got their camp chairs out. <laughs> I definitely use that one. Yeah, me too. Yeah, it looks awesome. Because this is a Class C, what sort of license do you need for this? Just regular driver's license. Your license, no air brakes or anything? It has air brakes, yeah. but in Montana you don't need any of those endorsements because it's a recreational vehicle. Wow, Montana's the best. Montana is the best. What do we have here? Probably get this for 280. 280, okay. Wow, just even the staircase is grand. Five steps, insane. Or six. Whoa, this is amazing. So now your bath is in the back, or sorry, in the middle, and your washer and dryer is in the back. Okay, gotcha. You've got your closet that's behind the mirrors. Are we buying it? <laughs> so you got washer, dryer. In here, wow. It's a little different, but it's kind of affordable in the same breath. It's really nice. Yeah. Either a family or somebody like in your guys' situation, I think this would be something that'd be more than adequate. Yeah, this layout is what I like the most, I think. You can see out, but nobody can see in. Cool. Even at night when you got the lights on inside of here, they cannot see in. It's got cameras, a reverse camera and everything. Automatic transmission, hit the drive button and go. Our next one will be the one. I think I would like to hold off until we can buy one that's like, you know, yeah, the one. <laughs> cool. Thank you, Chad. Hey, you bet. Wow. Like, this last one that we looked at, Lloyd and I are very much in love with. Yeah, I mean, the way Chad put it, um, it's like a 20-year mortgage, basically. Yeah. Um, so the repayments on it would be less than a house, obviously. Or rent. Or rent. Yeah, and at least it's going into something that's yours and that you own and you're not just forking away money to somebody else. Yeah, and insurance isn't that much. But no, maintenance you... is probably your biggest expense, but when you compare that to maintaining a home, mm. it's not that much. No. Fuel, obviously, would be a lot. Fuel, and you said tires are all also on this because they're like big semi-truck tires, but... I could, live in this pretty, I could totally live in this. Yeah. Let us know what you guys think down in the comments. Uh, we will leave all the details for Chad and if you're going to be coming through Kalispell, this is Van City RV. We got so many options here, like we've only seen just a handful of options. Come see Chad, come say hi. We're probably going to want to buy here. Yeah. Maybe <laughs> he got us. <laughs> maybe in a few years or a couple years when we're ready. Yeah, for sure. I'm keen as. Me too.